how do you encourage yourself when you are down? I want to answer uh, this question. And boy, there have been times in my life when I have really been down. Uh, I know what it's like to suffer from depression. Uh, at one time in my life, I was on antidepressants and I've been a therapist for 30 years. When I went through my d divorce, I considered suicide. So been there and done that. But now these are some tools that I use uh, with my clients and on my radio show that I hope will help you to stay encouraged. Number one, I'm going to say, where has your attention, thinking, and believing been? Uh, watch out for your eye gate, which is what you're look, looking at all of the time, your ear gate, which is what you're listening to, and your mouth gate, which is what you're saying. Second is isolation. Are you by yourself? Do you feel alone? Because anytime you are by yourself, when you're in the middle of a problem or issue, it sets you up for depression. Third, take a look at shame. Are you shame about where you are? Shame that you aren't further alone? Are you filled with pride and possibly you're trying to just do things yourself? Reach out and get some help. I always say, when people say to me, well, you know, I got God. I say, you need to be able to touch the God in somebody. Everybody get where I'm coming from. What else do I have down here? Remember all of the great accomplishments, all of the wonderful things that you do have, that you have accomplished. Because when you set your mind on something, it begins to download on the 3D plane of your life. I tell people that you got to get on your own side. The Bible says God is on your side. I want you to agree with God, knowing that God is behind the scene. Don't look like nothing is happening or changing, rearranging things on your behalf. And then this is really difficult to do when you're in a hard place, uh, is to be grateful for what you do have and for what's on its way realizing that the same power that created the universe is on the inside of you. Begin to think in possibilities. You don't have to know how, but just begin to think about all of the things that are possible in your life. Focus your attention, connect with others, come out of isolation, put shame behind you, uh, get in a place of a connectedness with others, and know that God is on your side.